Hello everyone, my name is Adam, and welcome back to another product tutorial series. Today we'll be going over a few things. We'll be going over toggle market depths, toggle charts, all orders action, and symbol orders action. So let's go on ahead and jump right into our hotkeys. So from the hotkey configuration window, we want to select the drop down menu underneath action in the top left corner, right? So we're clicking that and we're going to go on ahead and select toggle market depths. So we can see right above here in the description section, it already comes pre-filled with toggle market depths. We can remove that and we can name it whatever we want. So I'm just going to say switch level two. Okay. The next thing I want to do is designate a shortcut key. All right. So my combination for this is just going to be control N. So now that I have that set, I'm going to go on ahead and select apply. You can see that it drops down below for toggle market depths, right? And then it has our description there. And it also includes the hotkey key that we designated for it, right? So we're just gonna hit close. So now at this point, I'm gonna open up a few more market depth windows so that way you guys can get an idea of how this works. All right, so I'm gonna type in a few symbols here. I'm just gonna type in Apple, okay? I'm gonna go to the next one by clicking, and then I'm gonna type in Tesla, all right? So now at this point, you'll see Tesla at the top, the text is green. Okay, that means that right now, Zero Pro is focused on this market depth window alone. Okay, all the other ones, as you can see with Apple and you can see Spy here, you can see that the text is white. So these are not focused on, so to speak. So now I'm just going to go ahead and input my hotkey. That was Control N and we can see the change happen. So I just pressed it and you can see now that a new market depth window has been selected and focused on and that's SPY right here at the bottom. So let's go on ahead and try that again. Control N. Now it goes to the next. So right above it, another SPY market depth window. Gonna hit Control N again. And now we see that Apple is selected. So using this hotkey to toggle through market depth windows, for some it's very beneficial. Let's say you just don't wanna use your mouse, right? You can just cycle through each of the market depth windows with your hotkey. Right? And then when you're ready to place an order with another hotkey, you know that the level two or market depth is focused on, and then you can hit your hotkey to go on ahead and execute an order. The next hotkey we're gonna discuss is going to be the toggle charts hotkey, okay? It's similar to toggle market depths in which you can cycle through the charts as opposed to the market depths, right? So I'm just gonna type in here, switch charts. And then for this one, I'm going to give it a control C, right? Hit apply. Now we can see that switch charts is now below what we created earlier, which was a switch level two. And now I'm just going to hit close. So I have two charts open, right? I have a one minute spy chart open and then I have a daily spy chart open. So let's see what happens when we switch from the one minute to the daily chart. Okay. So control C. Now we see the switch happened. Switch happened again. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to cycle through the charts and then also level two. So let's dive a little bit deeper into some more complex hotkeys, okay? So from the same hotkey configuration window, we wanna go on ahead from the drop down menu and select all orders action, okay? Now that we have that selected, we see some new criteria that populates, all right? We have selection and then we have action, right? Two different drop down menus. So we're gonna select the first one. We can see first order, last order, all sells, all buys, all shorts, and all covers and all orders, all right? So the initiation of the all orders action hotkey allows us to cancel any pending orders that we may have, okay? So let's go on ahead and put in for all buys, okay? For the description, I'm going to type in cancel all buys. All right. And then for the keyboard shortcut, I'm just going to simply put control X and that's set. So let's hit apply. And now we can see that our all orders action is right down at the bottom. So right in the field, we'll see these two selections. We have make this a system wide hotkey and then we also have prompt for confirmation. So when we have make this a system wide hotkey selected, what this basically means is let's say you're in another application. And for the sake of this video, I have control X, right? Control X is also a key for cutting, right? Cutting text, etc. 
So if you're in an email and you do initiate control X to cut a part of the text and you have your live trades in the background, Zero Pro will safeguard and prompt for confirmation so this hotkey doesn't get executed right away. Right below, you can see a more precise description of what this actually does. So order confirmation will always occur if the application is not the active application, all right? Regardless of whether the prompt is checked or not. So I'm gonna leave that selected, and then I'm gonna hit apply. And now we can see this pop-up right here that's notifying us that this is a cut selection to keyboard shortcut also for Windows. So if I hit okay, it still won't allow us to proceed with this keyboard shortcut. Again, this is just a safeguard, right? So let's choose a different keyboard shortcut for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Control-1, and now let's see what happens. So we hit Apply, and then hit Close. So we didn't receive that pop-up at all. Let's look at Apple, and let's start creating some buy orders for Apple, all right? I'm just gonna change my order type to Limit, and then I'm gonna set the price lower than where the current ask is. So let's do about 125. Now I'm just gonna hit buy a few times, right? So now we see that we have three buy orders pending to be filled at a price of 125 bucks. Now let's just say I just didn't wanna buy these Apple shares at this price anymore. So it's gonna go on ahead and press control one, which will cancel all of the pending orders. And we'll see that happen right away. So all those orders were removed the moment I selected control one, my hotkey for canceling all orders. So going back into the hotkeys under the action tab and heading over to all orders action, we can see that we can do this for a few items, right? So if you have cover orders there, buy orders, sell orders, etc., they'll all be canceled with this selection here. So now let's take a look at symbol orders action. This one is interesting because it'll only cancel orders for a specific symbol. So let's create a symbol orders action to cancel all sales. All right, so I'm just gonna rename this description and call it cancel sales. And for this keyboard shortcut, I'm going to give it a control two. Then I'll hit apply and hit close. So we have no open orders currently, but let's create some, right? So I'm just gonna purchase Apple at market, and then I'm gonna purchase Tesla at market. Now let's create some sell orders for Apple. So I'm gonna set a price to sell Apple at 135, and that's gonna leave me with a pending order. And then for Tesla, I'm going to create a sell order for 130. So now that we have those two orders out there, we can see that we have two different symbols, Tesla and Apple. So now we can combine a few things. So let's use our toggle market depths hotkey, which was control N. And then we're also going to use our new hotkey for symbol action. So with control N, I'm gonna cycle over to Apple. Now we see that we have that selected and then I'm gonna hit control two. All right, do the same thing with Tesla and then control two. So what's useful about this symbol order action key is the fact that let's say we had multiple orders in there, right? For both Apple and Tesla respectively. If I go on ahead and choose to sell 25 shares and I have three orders out there for Apple, okay? And then I go on ahead and have my Tesla orders to sell. Again, 25, let's do the same for three orders out there, we can see that we now have all these orders there, right? If I'm in a trade and I wanna just remove only one symbol because I feel like maybe the price can go higher or maybe I just wanna get out of the trade immediately, I can utilize this symbol action order hotkey. So let's go on ahead and cycle through again. So control N over to Apple. Then we're gonna hit control two and we'll see all the Apple orders removed from the pending order window. And now we're left with just Tesla. So that wraps up our product tutorial for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one.